everyone, Wood, Chris. I'm taking it a bit easy this month because of Christmas and all that, so I'm not going to have green screen this episode, we're going to have a bit of Christmas themed, a bit of fun, a bit of chilled out, relaxing on the couch. Yeah. It'll be back to normal in January. This is very this is very different for us, just yeah, sitting down and talking. Used to. But let's get into it. So at 11, I was excited to go out this morning. We both were, we all were. We were very excited. So we ended up going to the garage sale around the corner, which we quite often go to, where I find all my Game & Watches. We went there last episode. I mean, I can't not go to this place. And lo and behold, it's just... They're, they're not later on there, four or nine or something. Mm. Two sets. Oh, no. Will do. There's another one there. I, I didn't know what I was gonna. He always has stuff, and when he bought this bag, I had no idea what I was gonna find inside. And to find not one but two Game Boys, and then the games, a Kirby Star something, Star Chasers. It's the Tetrisy one. Donkey Kong Land. They had Double Dragon. They had Amazing Spider-Man, which is a fantastic game. They had F1 Racing and like some kind of multi-cartridge game, four in one. Plus, the purple Game Boy had a purple attachment that had a battery pack, which also lets you hold it better. And the other one, I guess both of them, have the magnifier. That goes in there like that, it just clips in there. Oh yeah, magnifier. And then you put batteries in there and it lights it up. See, so, what do you want for the lock? Um, the lock. How many games have you got in there? You got five games, you got two Game Boys. You can have the lot for 15 bucks. That sounds very good. Now, do you have change for a 50? I don't haggle with this guy. Every prize he has ever given me, I just take it. I've never haggled with him once because I don't need to. And I don't want to because of, frankly, the, the freaking steals I get from him. I don't see justice in trying to get any cheaper. So thank you, Big Dave. You don't watch this, and I don't want you to ever watch this, <laughs> but thank you. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, that's an amazing start to the day. We don't have to even go down to Gaulman now. So, we're talking to Big Dave about the Christie's Beach Markets, and he said that they were actually setting up a little later today, or later than we thought they were anyway. So, we, we headed back there. You gotta hold the handle up when you close it. For those of you might be noticing, I bring shade to my face. It's raining and I'm wearing a singlet because this is how Australia works. It's really warm out here while it's raining. They have half their tables were still completely empty and barren, so we ended up just standing around for 10 minutes waiting. I don't see a point in walking around if the guys aren't even set up. But look, no. the tables aren't even set up. Yeah, and as soon as we get further back, like... Very nice. <laughs> that is not nice. Are oh, you going to find a little bar? Yeah. Just shove it in the face. Yeah. Well, guess what I just found, Aaron? Two Game Boys and a bunch of Game Boy games for $15. Beat that in America. Because you won't. setting up the next thing they pull out is all their next games. Next games, next games. They're all coming. That's okay, no worries. So you want both of those? Yeah, no worries. I know it's fate, but if I do get a bunch of good games really cheap. I don't know if that'll work. No, they will. They will like, but they will. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's the, uh, of the hat. And this one's got like, Mario Parties uh, and Yoshi's Islands. A lot of stuff that I might well, never I actually have, find. So. Yeah. No, it's really okay, so it's 20, 30, 40, 50. Thanks, Mark. How much were you after for these? Uh, 45, I think you wanted for those. For all of them? No, each. 
Okay, no worries. No worries. Okay. Forty-five dollars for fake games. <laughs> See how quickly I threw that poison back down. It's a fairly obscure title. So I picked up from one of these sellers a celebrity wrestling for three dollars. Oh, and Splinter Cell. Water. There was actually another collector there, do you remember? When we went to that table that had the Xbox games and I got Splinter Cell. Oh yeah, that's right. Some guy just came in and yeah. cleaned up all the other games. He got like four or five Xbox games for three dollars each. He was yeah. a collector. Yeah, he must have been. And he wasn't waiting for the stores to set up. He went through and then he came back around and went through again. And he picked up everything. Ah, uh, three dollars for Splinter Cell. Xbox titles are always pretty hard to come by, so... We did get caught slipping though by that last guy that was there, if anyone noticed. He was yeah, a sort of game collector. Inferno. Yeah. Dante's Inferno, Assassin's Creed, and something for Xbox for like six dollars he got. So, so far, a bunch of Game Boy stuff, a couple of Xbox titles, today's going really well. And it was only like, what, 9.30? Yeah. But... Yeah. Now I'm in an awkward position because there's a market down at Gulwa. Now Gulwa, and I'm pronouncing it that way because we have Gulu and Gulla, and I always get them very confused. You just pronounced it wrong. How do I pronounce it wrong? You said Gulla. It's Gulwa. You put W. Gul Gulwa or Gulla. It's Gulla, Gulla, and Gulwa. Gulwa. Yeah. So we're going down to Gulwa. <laughs> It's very, it's like 45 to 50 minute drive. Yeah, it's not close. And there's nothing on the way. Nothing. There's a market up at Gulur as yes. well, but there's all these other markets on the way, but we go there all the time. I think it's worth it. We haven't been there before. It could be good. In the way. It's pretty rural. Yeah, there's not gonna be much in the way there. Nah, let's do it. I'm gonna regret this. So after some long, hard consideration, we decide, screw it, we'll take the bullet if it ends up being crap. We tried something new. Yeah. We head down to Gulwa. Yes. Gulwa. <laughs> <laughs> so on the way to, I'm not saying it again, we found another garage sale. Yeah. Alright, so for two dollars each, got Medieval. It's platinum, but it's two dollars, and I, got, I was really considering not getting it because of that, but again, two dollars. Um, Tomb Raider 2. A little beat up, but again, two dollars. Now I can play from Raider Two, Raider Three, two dollars. Uh, that's Chris's. <laughs> <laughs> that might be Michael's if he wants it. Two dollars. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll I'll keep it. And Destruction Derby Two, I, I really only got it because it looks cool. I don't like car games in the slightest. Um, yeah, we got the lot. Got the lot for ten dollars. So, so um, yeah. There was. It was a Crash Bandicoot, but it was two dollars. Um, I'm oh, sorry, but it was two dollars. That is way too much. <laughs> but it was platinum. Um, the, the disc was missing. But yeah, the disc was missing. Um, and I grabbed Porsche Challenge. Good game. <laughs> he was yeah. so pissed off the whole time that but, I was grabbing that. The one bad thing about this is this this stack of PlayStation One games was like maybe this big, and it had a stack of PS Two games three times the size of that. Every single yeah. one was a racing game. Every PS2 game was a racing game. I didn't know they made that many racing games for the PS2. Carousel on the way, yeah. um, in the middle of nowhere, the middle of the outback, yeah. and there was these two lovely old couple um, who were just selling books, books everywhere as far as the eye can see, and bird cages. and bird cages. Can't forget the bird cages. I asked them, do they have any any gaming stuff, any old school stuff, any Game Boys? They said no. I asked her if we had video games or Game Boys, and as we we're leaving, I hear her say, "What's a Game Boy?" <laughs> They are so cut off from yeah, society. Yeah, I know. People, people know what Game 
Boy is Game that? Boy is the go-to word for anything. Yeah. Any, a like, Game & Watch is a, a Game a Boy. A Game & Watch, a Lynx, a, a DS, a 3DS, a Game, Game Gear, Gear, anything. Like, yeah. It's just, it's a Game Boy. <laughs> so, for this person to not have heard of a Game Boy, the further, <laughs> the further out we went into the Outback, our hopes yeah. were diminishing of actually finding anything that even looked, even looked remotely like a game. Maybe they, they're so far out of society they don't even know what they're trying to So finally, after we've trekked through the outback in the wilderness and we've gone through all these like, little dessert towns with no garage sales, we come to the Gulwa Fisherman's Market. And... Yeah... Well, that's what the sign says. Well, I'm going down to that now. Why are you taking talk of this? So we walk around, we're not finding anything. We finally find a stall that had a, had a sonic box that was selling just Wii accessories that I think had a little Sonic on them. Probably the best thing we're going to find here, to be honest. It's called PS2 games. Fifteen, not what I was after. Then they had a bunch of PS2 games. From what I can recall, they had Half-Life 1, they had The Thing, they had a Naruto game. All pretty good titles for $10 each. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling paying even five dollars for these games right now. I, I was in a pretty bad mood that we've come down all this way for nothing. And it was raining. And it was raining, and there wasn't nearly the 80 stools that the website said they were going to have. What do you reckon they had? Maybe like 12 stools? Yeah, probably about that. Maybe, maybe 20. However, I did see something kind of random and obscure, and I'm not talking about that. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I know what you're I saw a Motorola spin table. Um, it was just like a little motorized stand that had this little like Motorola dude on it and it just it spun around. And as soon as I saw it, I thought that would look great for the game. It was only three dollars. And um, I, I bought it. I picked it up, I came home straight away and I ripped up all the the, the stuff on top. <laughs> At the next door we saw some books. And you've always got to check through books, just in case you find a game in between the, the covers or the sleeves. <laughs> it happens. How does that actually happen? It, it happens in Salvos, in like in Salvation Salvos. Army stores yeah. and off shops. But I was more drawn to the Miley Cyrus autobiography, Miles to Go book, for a dollar fifty. I mean, a dollar fifty. You didn't know it was a dollar fifty. Not at the time, but it's. It, you picked it up. You were walking around with it for five minutes before you even knew how much it cost. Which Miley Cyrus? So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll put a game on there, I guess, or like a statue or something. Like not, like have it like that way. Okay, maybe like if I put like a Zelda game on there, I could like paint this gold or something. I don't know. Well, I think we shouldn't have come down. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I literally got nothing. It was it was a waste of time. I regret going down to these markets. We had a fun time. We made some good memories. And, and really, when it comes down to it, Retro Liberty would tell you game chases. Okay, they might be about the games. <laughs> yeah. But Retro Liberty would tell you it's more about just the fun. Yeah. Of the adventure and hanging out with friends and it's not all about the games and, and we had a lot of that. We did, definitely. And, you know, buying Miley Cyrus put smiles on everyone's faces <laughs> and that's exactly why I exactly. did it. That is the only reason why I bought that. You know, you guys laughed. <laughs> Admit it. <laughs> so that's our very, our very chilled out episode yes. um, this week. As I said, if this is the first time you're watching us and you've sat through this much, this isn't how we normally do business. Watch an older episode. Watch do. this one, or this one, or this one. Essentially, I wanted to give you guys something. I also need to take time off for the month because of Christmas. But starting January, there's going to be a video every week. So, I'm starting... You <laughs> looked at me like... <laughs> I was like... Not a game quest every okay, week, good. so you can chill out. <laughs> it's going to be a game quest one week. 
and then my new show the week after, and then Game Quest, and my new show, then Game Quest, and my new show. Well, I guess that's all from us here today. Um, oh, no, no, Chris, you almost <laughs> ended it before I, I've been waiting. <laughs> you look like you're about to leave. I don't know, I don't know hey! what's going on. Hey! I don't know what's going on. Hey! I don't know what's going on. There's a few things I need to tell you guys, because I keep forgetting to mention it. Firstly, I have, we have, this channel has about 1,500 subscribers now, which is wow, amazing. I haven't even looked at it. That's great. It's amazing. I think it's actually 1,400, but I'm rounding up to make myself We can sound, exaggerate. Make myself sound better. Um, oh, well, obviously we're going to get there, which is yeah. incredible. And it's a big thanks to Retro Liberty, obviously, giving us a chance to collaborate on their video. Please check this out here. I'm very active on Facebook, and the 170 likes that my Facebook page has, we're always talking to each other, and it's fantastic, and I want more of you to jump on. It's great. I love the little community that we have on, and thank you to all the people who have been on Facebook for so long now talking to me, and yeah, thank you. I'm being very, very into Instagram lately, and I'm doing all this stuff, so please check that out. I'll put links to everything in the description below. A lot of you have been asking for my address to send me like fan mail and items and I don't want anything at all. I don't want anything. Let me just get that straight right now. You don't have to send me anything. But to send out the games for the winners of the competition, I did have to go get a PO box. So yes, I do have one now and I'll put that in the description below. If you want to send me stuff, that is where to send it. But as I said, I don't deserve anything. I make these videos because I enjoy it and because you enjoy it. And that's enough for me. And that's certainly... Please don't send him anything. He deserves Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you can send him stuff. Alright, if you want to send Chris stuff, go ahead. That's where you send stuff. Send Chris fan mail. Thank you Games to Anyone. Thank you Retro Liberty. Thank you Retro Spec. Thank you Chris for sitting on this couch with me. Oh! Okay. Though actually... Okay, I've said way too much. I'm going to have to cut this heat. But... The reason why we're sat on this couch and we've got everything nice, the idea actually originally came because Super Derek, if you remember Super Derek from episode 9, um, the Super Game Quest, he's making a Christmas video and he's got a bunch of YouTubers involved, like me, a bunch of other dudes from Australia, I know the Leftover Culturist is going to be involved, uh, I know some dudes, he's American, like most of you guys, so there's going to be a lot of American YouTubers involved, and it's pretty much going to be like a Christmas special episode thing. So I made this look all pretty, we just sat here for like 20 minutes, half an hour talking about Christmas. I don't know, I guess when that's finally up, I'll put a description thingy in here, and I'll also link it here somewhere. So look forward to that, I know I do, please subscribe to Super Derek. His link's gonna be here, <laughs> his link's gonna be oh, no. I know, I know, I've done way too much, I've blown, I've blown my award everywhere with links <laughs> and descriptions and but please if you're gonna do anything anything that I've said today if you're gonna do anything please add Super Derek subscribe to him and and keep updated because I'm gonna be appearing on his channel soon much like I appeared on his Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll have one more Game Quest video by the end of the year so if you absolutely hated it and you don't like us sat here on the couch and you hate listening to Chris's voice, let me know <laughs> and I'll do green screen and for the next one I'll make the effort and I'll kick Chris off the show just for you guys. <laughs> He's yeah. so mean to me every time. Like, I'm, just, I'm so sorry. He doesn't even pay me. Like, I don't get anything. <laughs> on that very awkward note, beat him up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get to do that. <laughs> well, go on then. Give him a beat up. No, I haven't done it before. It'd be weird. Why would it be weird? Let's do it, Chris. It's your thing. Alright, you wanna do it? Chris had a whinge, so we're gonna do <laughs> beat em up together, which is something I haven't done on a game quest in a long time. So, I'm gonna tinsel up this beat em up. You ready? Should probably. I'm gonna tinsel it up. Get a good, good old tinsely. Tinselitis. You ready? Beat em up! up.